Holiday weekend is almost here. It's here for some folks already. A live look here at Tacoma, and you can see the sun is out, just not really over the Tacoma Dome. But hey, it's looking <laughs> beautiful out there, Craig. I love it when we got a little bit of cloud cover in some spots, right? And then yeah. bright in other spots thanks to the clouds. As they are getting out of here, Jessica and Greg, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. It was nice to see Chris Daniels up there enjoying all the sunshine as well. We've got more of it for you as we go through the weekend. A little bit of cloud cover at times, but overall temperatures are coming back up into the 70s and how about the 80s wow all right let's get started with the shot right over the seattle waterfront out toward the great wheel a couple of clouds out there off in the distance sunrise tomorrow 5 18 on your saturday sun go, uh, sun going down at 8 56 almost in the nine o'clock hour we will be in the nine o'clock hour uh, memorial day so a nice long day out there to, uh, as we go through monday another shot for you from shoreline this is shorecrest high school you can see uh, some of the clouds off in the distance starting to clear out over the cascades and we do have uh, some light scattered showers over the cascades but they are few and far between we don't have a whole lot high pressures building in and notice where i have the h you do have a whole lot of milky clouds over that a lot of that will still come our direction as we go through the day tomorrow and even into Sunday and Monday, but we're still going to have some warm air coming in as well. So we'll manage some 70s. We talked about the UV index back up to the high category as we go through the day tomorrow. What about uh, the wind? Well, thankfully, that's all dying down. Remember the wind we had yesterday with the thunderstorms as well? That's all gone. This is Futurecast. 8.30 this evening, clear conditions for most of us as we start the day tomorrow. At 8.30, we'll have some clouds to start the day. Then the wind comes in from the north, clears things out. We'll have some sunshine, maybe some high, thin clouds. The clouds Clouds move in again as we get ready for Sunday. We'll have a cloudy start to the day and then we'll have some nice sun breaks during the afternoon, but we'll still have partly sunny conditions on Sunday and we're still going to see the numbers come up with the southwest wind coming up as well. The water temperatures. Oh boy, still cold as you know, and I know a lot of you are going to be out there enjoying the water. Uh, just remember, it's still very chilly for this time of year. It's going to take some time to warm things up, so take it easy out there if you're out enjoying the uh, day or any of the days really. As we pause a moment with Craig, this is Jasmine. Look at the face on Jasmine. Jasmine. She's like, hmm, that's Friday. Where's my treat? <laughs> How cute is that? I love those pictures. Send me your pictures. We've got, uh, you can use the hashtag K5Pets on social media or email those out to me. Your overnight lows into the 40s. Your highs tomorrow are back up into the 70s. Lots of 60s and 70s tomorrow. In fact, we're going to go uh, even 66 Friday Harbor tomorrow, 71 in Bremerton, North Bend about 75. If you're going over the passes, should be rather clear. By the time you get over to Cleelum, about 72. Over to Hoquiam 67 and Chehalis 74. Taking a look at the next seven days, partly cloudy conditions will be with us, but notice we still have some 60 or some 70s rather. Nowhere near records. The records for the next three days are pretty high. In fact, tomorrow's record is 85, Sunday's is 87, and Memorial Day's record is 90 degrees. But how about that 80? Not bad at all. We'll stay rather dry for the remainder of the week, Greg and Jessica. The chance for showers, I think, will be next Friday. That's a pretty nice looking <laughs> run there. Right. Thanks, Greg. You got it.